Hey everyone, Mike the Great Outdoors. I am going to start on my Sprinter van conversion. And the first thing I'm going to do is I have to remove all these letters that uh, are on the side of this van. It is about 30 degrees out and I'm going to try to remove these with a heat gun. Um, it, the letters go down both sides. Um, I assume that it's going to take me Oh, I don't know 12 days no probably a couple hours I would imagine on each side uh, it's very cold uh, but this is gonna be the first step of the conversion which I'm gonna have some other videos on how I do the interior the beds and stuff like that so follow along so I'm gonna start off with uh, something small first just because it's super cold out here and uh, really the only thing I'm gonna use is my fingernail and the um, the heat gun I just don't want to scratch the paint so we're gonna see how it works um, these guys up here are actually painted on so uh, I have to be careful with uh, what I use to remove those but I'm gonna do a time-lapse and uh, let's uh, let's hope that I can get all this lettering off and uh, then of course after that then I'm gonna to have to do something to paint Buffett or something like that so uh, let's start the time-lapse all right got bonded and insured removed of course there's some glue there i'm gonna have to remove uh i haven't quite decided what i'm going to use to take that off but that has been removed um was pretty easy um let me show you what i'm using to to do this i've got a uh ryobi um, heat gun this thing is pretty old it's probably I don't know it's probably pushing eight ten years old it is a um, Harbor Freight heat gun it's got three settings on it um, if you can see that let's see high medium and low what I'm doing is I'm I'm slowly warming the metal up first uh, on high but I'm keeping about three inches of, of distance uh, from the tip of the heat gun all I want to do is get the metal warm and get the letters uh, warmed up a little bit and then I'm switching it to uh, medium and as I peel the letters off I'm kind of just kind of keeping it warm if you get it too warm the um, letters start to stretch a little bit and they'll they'll rip so you want to keep the heat uh, kind of low when you start peeling them off and also when you got it uh, initially warming it up you don't want it to get it too hot you don't want to boil the paint or burn the paint I should say not boil but you don't want to burn the paint or anything, so you want to be real careful with this. And now I'm going to go over all this with some kind of uh, uh, remover to take all the glue off and stuff like that. And uh, I'll show how that works. But All right, I'm going to go ahead and finish taking off the rest of the stuff with a time lapse. And uh, we'll see what it looks like when it gets done. Okay, this is a true pain in the butt. Um, got quite a few letters done already, um, but it's just a uh, whew, pain. And I tell you what, these little dots, they are the worst. I don't know what it is, but there's so many dots <laughs> in this that they're really hard to get started. Um, it's taking me about 30 seconds per letter. I'm going to guess in about 30 seconds. Okay, we got all the letters off, and it doesn't look too awful bad. You can see some of the glue and everything that's uh, left over, which is going to have to be removed, of course, and polished. 
This up here, I'm gonna have to figure out how I'm gonna take that off. Um, this almost seems like a decal, but I'm not sure. Um, we're gonna remove that, and once I get all this uh, glue and everything cleaned up, then we'll buff buff out the paint. But it doesn't look too bad right now. Not as bad as I thought. It took me about two hours. Now I am not a professional. I was real careful uh, with just using my fingernail, getting the uh, letters off and everything. So, um, at your own risk, do this with a, with a heat gun and stuff. I'm not responsible for uh, any damage to your paint, but it worked for me, and I just took my time. So, uh, I hope this helps, and anyone that has bought a used van that has got some company logos on it, uh, it worked out pretty good for me. So, I hope this helped. This is Mike in the Great Outdoors. Uh, enjoy the video. Hope you enjoy the video. Check out my other videos. I've got a, a kind of line van in there that I did. Uh, and this one I'll keep updating you with uh, the progress as the van goes. So, again, thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you liked it. And like, uh, and also put any comments down there. Uh, any ideas for a sprinter van or anything like that uh, for the interior. Because I haven't designed that yet. So, again, thanks for watching, guys. Mm -hmm.